In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to add heat map in WordPress. Heatmap offers a simple way to track and analyze what's happening on your WordPress website. It's a visual representation of how users interact with the pages on your website. With the information being provided, you can easily identify and fix the problems. The first step for the process is to sign up for a Heatmap account. To do so, you need to visit this website named heatmap.com. Now, on scrolling down a little, you can see three plans are provided by this website. You can simply go with this free plan by clicking on this button over here. Here you can sign up using your Google or Facebook account. So, let's sign up using the Google account. Now, simply enter your website URL here to connect your website with the Heatmap account. Once done, accept the general terms here and click on this Start for Free button. You need to follow a few more steps to complete the process. Step 2 is to install the Heatmap plugin in our WordPress website. As we're installing it on WordPress, you can follow these easy steps. So, let's move back to the WordPress website. Hover on to Plugins and click on Add New. In the search bar, search for Heatmap for WordPress. From various plugins here, you need to install this plugin. So click on Install Now. And once the installation is complete, you can click on Activate. You can configure the settings of the plugin by clicking on the heat map in this sidebar. You can see the plugin status here is active. Second step is completed here. Next step is to sign up and configure the plugin. To do so, move to the front end of your website and you can see the heat map tool. Simply click on it and in the pop up, you need to sign into your heat map account using Google or Facebook, whichever account you've used to sign up earlier. Once connected, on the right, you see a sidebar. You can simply toggle the switch to start recording your user interactions. Once done, you can see the heat map is active for this page. You can visit all the pages on your website and toggle the switch just like this to record user interactions for that specific page. You can see the page is being recorded here. Now, after a while, when you return back to this page, you can see the recorded time frame here. Let's check the same for other pages as well. So far, the plugin has recorded two page views and two clicks on our services page. Repeating the same, you can visit other pages and check the user interactions just like this. So, this is how you can add heat map in your WordPress website. Now, if you want to learn how to display breadcrumbs in your WordPress posts, we have a video where you can learn that as well. I'll link it in the description below, or you can also click on the eye icon on the top right corner of your screen to view the video. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.